Now this question says the angle of elevation of the top of a tower at a distance of 120 meter from a point A on the ground is 45 degree. If the angle of elevation of the top of a flagstaff fixed at the top of the tower at A is 60 degree, find the height of the flagstaff. First we need to understand the diagram properly. Okay, let's say this is the ground. This is the tower. Let's say I'm drawing the tower like this and on the tower there is a flagstaff, right? All right, so this is the flagstaff and this is the tower, right? Let's, uh, let's take another thing. It says this is a 120 meter from a point A on the ground. Now from this point A, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower, right? This is the top of the tower. So this angle of elevation is 45 degree, okay? And the top of the flagstaff, the angle of elevation is 60 degree. So this total angle is 60 degree. Right? Let's give them some names. So let's say B, C and D. Please understand that B, C is the flagstaff. Right? And C, D is the tower. And the distance A, D is given as 120 meters. Okay? So this distance is 120 meters. Right? Now, let's take the triangles one by one. What is the question asking? Find the height of the flagstaff. Perfect. So what we have to do is, let's say triangle a D B look at the triangle carefully in the triangle A D B let's say the height of the tower is H and the height of the flagstaff is X all right so in the triangle A D B if I take the angle 60 degree then tan 60 degree will be equal to the side opposite to 60 degrees B D and the side adjacent to uh, 60 degrees A D now tan 60 is root 3, BD is equal to X plus H and AD is 120. So from here we get X plus H equal to 120 root 3 meters. Let it be like this only. This is our first equation. Now let's consider the triangle ADC. This is A, this is D, this is C. In that triangle we take angle 45 degree. So we take tan 45 degree. Now the side opposite to 45 degree will be CD divided by adjacent to 45 degree is AD. Tan 45 degree is 1, CD is H, AD is 120. Great. So from here we can directly see that H is equal to 120 into 1 that is 120 meter. So if you put the value of H in this first equation you will get the value of X. Alright. So I put there X plus H is 120 root 3. So we put h equal to 120, we have x plus h equal to 120 root 3. That is x plus 120 equal to 120 root 3. So from here we get x is equal to 120 root 3 minus 120. Take 120 common, it is root 3 minus 1. Root 3 is 1.732, minus 1 will be 0 0.732. So it is 120 into 0 0.732. If you multiply it will come out to be 87.84 meter. All right. Right. So this is the length of a flagstaff. So answer of the question is this one that is 87.84 meters. All right. Now let's take up the next question. It says the angle of elevation of the bottom and top of a flagstaff at the top of a building as seen from a point horizontal distance from 10 meter from the foot of the building are 30 degree 45 degree exactly the same question perhaps the yes the angles are different 30 and 45 in previous question it was uh, 60 and 45 let's see so once again we take a point on the ground we take a tower or let's say building in this case and there is a flagstaff from the point the bottom of the flagstaff and the top of the flagstaff the angles are obviously the larger angle is 45 degree so this angle is 45 degree and the smaller angle is 30 degree, right? Let's again give them some names. So this is A, B, C, D, right? This distance AB is given 10 meters. Let's assume this tower height is H and the flag height is X. So straight away, let's take it like this triangle A, B, D. In the triangle A, B, D, we have tan 45 degree because the angle is 45 degree, right? So tan 45 degree will be equal to DB opposite side divided by adjacent side that is AB. Tan 45 degree is 1, so it is 1 equal to DB is X plus H divided by BA or AB is 10. So we have X plus H equal to 10. This is one equation. 
Now let's take the another triangle that is triangle ABC. Look at the triangle carefully. It is ABC. In that we have angle 30 degree. So tan 30 degree will be equal to, uh, it will be BC that is opposite side to 30 divided by adjacent side that is AB. Now BC is equal to H and AB is equal to 10 and tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3. So from here we can directly see that H is equal to 10 by root 3 meters. So we have the value of H equal to 10 by root 3 and X plus H equal to 10. So if you put it in this equation, you will get X plus 10 by root 3 is equal to 10. So we have X equal to 10 minus 10 by root 3. So what you can do is you can simplify, take LCM as root 3, take 10 common and root 3 minus 1. Multiply by root 3 in numerator and denominator, it will give us 3 minus root 3. So what we have done is we have multiplied by root 3 in numerator and denominator root 3 into root 3 will become 3. So it is 10 into. Now 3, uh, root 3 is 1.732. 3 minus 1.732 will become 1.268 and divide by 3. So it is 12.68 divide by 3. If you divide, it will give us 4.2 to 6 meters right so approximate value is 4.2 to 6 meters so height of the flagstaff now let's go to the next question 